Hey, what's up guys? By popular request, we are recreating steamed hams from The Simpsons, but this is not Binging with Babish. It is The Burger Show. When Babish and I get together, it's always an epic adventure. And this time is no exception. Today we're exploring one of the most iconic burgers from cartoon history, steamed hams from The Simpsons. Babby's gonna steam his first burger, and I'm gonna make my own version to see if I can take it to the next level. Internet, this one's for you. Darn this Zoom thing. I never know how to use these darn things. Hello? Alvin, what's up, dude? H Hello? Can you Hello? hear me? Hello. Coming in loud and clear on the main we're, line. We're, we're. <laughs> yeah, dude, today we're in the Babish world of recreating foods from pop culture. And we're gonna yes. recreate some steamed hams. This is one of the longest running requests on my show uh, to, re to, to recreate these steamed hams from a storied dinner at uh, Principal Skinner's house on The Simpsons. Shout out to the steamed ham army. Steamed ham army, thank you for fighting the good fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're steaming hamburgers. We're steaming hamburgers like a couple of true sociopaths. Have you had a steamed hamburger? I've never had a steamed hamburger. I, I have reservations about it. Steaming a burger makes no sense to me. I watched George Motes make them on your show. I'm gonna make them the way that he made them, uh, okay. roughly in, in like a home cook approximation. And we're also gonna try to be true to the way that the burgers looked on The Simpsons, the steamed hams which were yes. really just crusty burgers, which we don't really know what go in crusty burgers. So we're, 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 we're mixing it up today. We're, not, we're, we're stretching a little bit. We're gonna make it happen. So Principal Skinner was obviously just lying to cover his ass. Um, but we are deciding to take his words very literally today because in recreating this burger, the only option we really have is to make a steamed hamburger. And the only steamed hamburger that anyone seems to know of is at a place called Ted's in Connecticut. Yeah, there's a there's a few steamed hamburger joints in a nine by nine mile radius, but Ted's is the one of no. It's world famous now uh, because of their steamed hamburgers. They have their own like custom made contraptions that steams the cheese, steams the meat, and honestly, as someone who's been there, it's definitely got a huge local following. We actually tracked down the writer of the steamed hams episode. Let, let's hear what he has to say about the steamed hams. Take it away, Oakley. Hi, Burger Show fans. My name is Bill Oakley, and I wrote the much-memed steamed hams segment from the Simpsons episode 22 short films about Springfield. At the time, I didn't know that there was a regional burger called the steamed cheeseburger. In fact, I just heard of that a couple years ago. And it is baffling to me that such a thing exists and has existed for a long time, I guess. A couple years ago, I started to do uh, Instagram videos of fast food reviews, kind of transitioned from a Simpsons writer into a amateur fast food critic. I've never had a steamed cheeseburger, although I've had a lot of people send me photos and videos of the steamed cheeseburger. Okay, Babish and Alvin, you have your work cut out for you, but I can't wait to see what you come up with. He's never had it, you've never had it. It's open game, let's make, dude, it's open game. Let's make one, it's open game. and uh, yeah. maybe this will be a great guide for him to, so he can make it on his own, yeah. so he doesn't have to go all the way to wherever Connecticut. And since I'm the only one that's ever tried it, you're just gonna have to trust my word. <laughs> and you're not even trying mine, so you have to trust your eyes. <laughs> yeah, just trust your eyeballs, and uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> steamed ham, steamed ham. Ooh. So I want to try to stay true to the steamed cheeseburger from Ted's and from that region of Connecticut, but I also want it to visually match what we see in The Simpsons. So we got some red stuff on the bottom of the burger. I assume that's ketchup. Then we got the burger itself. Then we got pickles and then we got some orange stuff. Now at Ted's, they use white cheddar. I'm just gonna use uh, yellow cheddar to match that orange because it's, you know, they say yellow cheddar, but this is orange cheddar. That is as orange, as, orange. It, as, it, as it comes. So Ted's uses their custom steam cabinet and I don't have one yep. of those handy. Unlike most Americans, I don't have one around. Instead, I'm gonna use a uh, bamboo steamer basket. That's the best option for me. And I've got the cheese in these little ramekins here. So I got oh. some water at the boil here. I'm gonna throw down this layer, and then I'm gonna throw down my burger patty. As I understand, it's just ground chuck at, at Ted's, yep. right? So I just got some real standard ground beef here. I didn't grind it myself, nothing fancy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> uh problem. Let's uh, switch to a different kind of ramekin. 
Yes, no, ramekin size affects man, millions of men every year. <laughs> and it's nothing to be ashamed of, gentlemen. Anyway, uh, all right, so I got, I got, I got the cheese in a, some slightly smaller ramekins here. Don't be embarrassed. And then uh, I'm just gonna place those in. I'm gonna get this guy to a rolling simmer and I'm gonna let these steam for like uh, seven minutes until the burger's fully cooked and the cheese is fully melted. And then we're gonna dump it all out on a roll. Sound good? Sounds good. We're, all right, we're on a roll. Seven minutes. We're on a roll. Seven minutes. We're not on a roll yet, but we'll be on a roll, Alvin, right after these messages. My burgers are done steaming is a sentence that I never thought I'd say. I just love that setup, man. It just makes so much sense. So first thing going down is some ketchup. There's very clearly some red stuff on the bottom of the burger with some ketchup. These burgers shrunk significantly. And I'm gonna apply my pickles with a gigantic set of tweezers. Yeah, you have to. Few Mozart playing in the background. Captain Beefheart. Now, I have my molten cheese here, which- Ooh, Here we go. Ow, it's nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it out. That's super burger show accurate right there. Yeah, that's pornographic. There we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a steamed ham. There, whoop. Oh, it's a little pink. It's a little, no, it's not, it's just the, just the ketchup. I thought it was, I got excited. <laughs> thought it was pink. It's nice and gray. Yeah, Ow. there you go. All right, I'm gonna eat this before it burns me. Okay. What do we think? Steam hams. Steam ham. What's the verdict? That's not great. <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's the fault of the steamed ham. I think there's too much ketchup on this. It's not bad, but you know what it reminds me of is the burgers that they used to serve me in high school. That those were those were cooked on a steam table, so it, yep. it would make sense. It's just not what I look for in a burger. I I, I need the crust. Uh, we're reading way too far into this joke, and the better way to honor uh, the steamed ham as a concept is to make a legitimately delicious steamed ham. Alvin, how are you gonna do that for us? As much as I'm like a burger purist, and I like pay homage to the classics, I kinda wanted to take my own spin on this and bump it up a little bit. And uh, what I have in here is beef stock. I mean, just the smell in here smells like I got like this big, pot of beef flavored top ramen going on. All of that is gonna permeate into what I think is already a really beefy patty. So this is custom ground at my new spot. Uh, it has chuck, short rib, it has brisket, and then you see these flakes of fat? That's from a dry aged rib cap from a prime rib. That has gotta be the most beautiful burger I've ever seen or heard of in my life. We got some onions that I'm gonna throw in the steamer. It has a little bit of butter in it. Good old processed provolone cheese. Paying homage to another Connecticut classic, um, square bread, uh, Louis Lunch. And then I got some spicy pickle relish and uh, some uh, sour cream and onion chips for crunch. This is this is genius. So let's let's start off with opening up the steamer. I'm gonna throw the patty in, onions with the butter, and the cheese. Yeah, we want to cook the seasoning into the into the burger. All right. So let's toss this guy in. The secret sauce is not much of a secret, and you know what? At Ted's, they put mustard, mayo, ketchup separately. So why not just combine it, you know? Hot Italian pickles. I'm pretty excited now. I'm excited. I can smell the food. You know, that's not just, now, now I'm taking it beyond the Simpsons. Now it's turned into like my special project. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel good about it. Ooh. You think this is something that might end up in your restaurant? Probably not. <laughs> 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 I really respect the honesty. Oh shoot, check this Ooh. out. What happened okay. with that cheese? That cheese is done though, bro. Get Ooh. that. But I'm gonna get some of this buttered onions. Buttered onion. Every word that out of your mouth just gets me going. All right. Oh wow. Just throw, throw that on there. Sour cream and onion. I want a cross section. Got that crunch. Ooh, that crunch. I heard it from here. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Let's see it. Okay. Ooh. I'm getting patty melt vibes right now. Yeah, oh, big That's time, what I'm getting. big time. 
How are we feeling? This is not bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure where you're going with that. I saw the pause and you were like. Textures are great. And because of the dry age, I'm getting really big beef flavor. Honestly, it's a pretty damn good burger. Chips on a sandwich is such a move. I can't ever say that I've heard of chips on a burger, and I would not be surprised if you sparked a revolution today. I just created a nationwide concept. Steamed patty melts. <laughs> Steamed patty melt chip burgers. And I'm not to sound cocky and to toot my own horn, but I fucking nailed it. Hey, beep beep. Toot it. <laughs> right? Toot toot. Read a book. Uh, or rewatch The Sopranos, or make the steamed ham. What hobby are you gonna take up this weekend? Make a steamed ham. Disclaimer, you're gonna have to dry clean your shit because I smell like beef broth right now. Burger show. Be there. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Burger show. <laughs>